Welcome to STEM Club. This week we've got a magical colour changing experiment for you to try at home. All you will need this week for your experiment is a red cabbage. You will also need some hot water from a kettle, a couple of jugs and a sieve and a range of household items for you to test your indicator on and see if it changes colour. This is so simple and easy to do. The first thing you need to do is cut up your red cabbage into small bits. So be really careful when you're doing this because the knife is sharp. Once you've cut up your red cabbage, put it in a jug, then pour some hot water on top. Leave this for 10 to 15 minutes so that the water can absorb the purple in the cabbage that we're going to use for our experiment. This water is already licking a beautiful colour. Once you've done this, you want to put a sieve on top of another jug and then carefully pour it through to collect all your beautiful indicator water. Ooh. This is it, that was all you had to do to make a magical colour changing solution. At the moment it's looking very dark, so how can we make it change colour? Well, we can add it to our different household items. So if we start with just plain water, oh, you can see it is that beautiful purple colour, so it hasn't really changed colour. Let's try lemon juice. Add a bit to our lemon juice. It goes pink. That is amazing. And then what we've also got here is some bicarbonate of soda. So I'm going to add a bit to our bicarbonate of soda and see what colour it turns. Oh, it's gone a very dark blue here now. So the reason this happens is because inside the red cabbage is a chemical called anthocyanin. So the anthocyanin is what we then dissolve into the water and it's this dark purple colour. But the reason it's magical is because it changes colour depending on the pH of the solution it is in. pH is a scale that either means if something is acid or alkaline. So if it's got a low pH, it's an acid, and if it's got a high pH, it's an alkali. And if it's in the middle, it's neutral. So it's neither an acid or an alkali, like water here. And so if something is acid, your indicator is going to turn pink, and if something is alkali, like our baking soda here, your indicator is going to turn blue. And that's what's so good about anthocyanin, is we can use it for an indicator to find out if things are acid or alkaline, but we can also use it to make magical potions that change colour when you add it. Challenge yourself to find out more. What items can you find around your home and what pH are they? So what colour can you change your indicator solution you've made? When you're looking around your home for different things to try, be really careful and make you sure you check with an adult first to make sure it's safe. This is washing powder, so I'm just gonna add some indicator solution to that. Wow, and that's gone green. And if you look on the back of washing powder, there are lots of warning labels and you can see why, because washing powder has gone green. So you don't want to touch that with your hands. And let's try some soap. So soap that we put on our hands, my hand soap is purple. So that means it's the same as water here in the middle, which is really nice to know, because obviously if we were putting something on our hands, we don't want it to harm us. Whereas this one, uh, we definitely don't want to put our hands, as you can see, it's gone green. And then this one is vinegar. I'm going to add some, some vinegar again. It has gone a lovely pink colour. Another little thing you can try is we know that water is neutral, so water is purple, and we've got an acid and an alkali here. Now, this is citric acid and this is bicarbonate of soda. And if you've done some science before, you'll know that you can react these together. So I wonder what happens if we react them together with the indicator solution inside. This is exciting. So let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> it's made a big mess. <laughs> Got my tissue. 
but it's actually if you look at the color of the foam it's gone purple so what we've done then is neutralized the reaction so we've actually made a neutralization reaction where the acid and the alkali have balanced each other out to make something neutral as well as lots of carbon dioxide which has foamed there so that is really fun to see too Have lots of fun experimenting and do let us know how you've got on in our STEM club sharing post on Facebook, which you'll find the link below for. And we look forward to seeing you again soon for more STEM fun. Let's clear up all this mess. That was really fun.